What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe and share if you haven't already in good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so listen, um, as I was just saying that intro, I've been thinking that I need some type of intro, right? You know how like some people got music when they come in or they have like, um, a, like a video, like a seven second video of them shooting or something like that. Then they come in and then boom, they come on camera. I feel like I need something like that. I don't know. I feel like, you know, now that I picked up more subscribers, maybe I need to advance, but I don't even know who to go to to look for that. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I need some kind of real. So I come in on screen with the music and then boop, what's up everybody. I don't know. Do you, let, do you let me know what you think? But I feel like this intro that I do is getting old. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. So anyway. All right. So today we're going to get into the discussion of how many guns do I take to the range? To answer that question, it depends. It depends on if I am just going to plank, if I'm going to zero an optic, if I'm going with friends, if I'm making a day out of it, it just all depends. So I'm going to give you the scenarios and then I'm going to tell you how many guns I would take based on that scenario. All right. So I made my list right here so I don't forget. Okay. So if I'm going to become proficient in my EDC or my home defense gun, then I may take two guns to the range, no more than two. Okay. So for example, my EDC is my MMP 2.0 compact, right? But my home defense is my Glock 45. Why do I have two different guns for home defense and EDC? I don't know, but I love my MMP, that Glock 45 be hitting. Um, I don't know. So I have to become proficient with both, right? So if, if I'm going to the range and that's my plan for the range, I'll spend about an hour and a half or so at the range and I will practice becoming proficient in both of those. And because they both have different grip angles, one of them has a red dot, the other one has um, iron sights, uh, it's, they're, they're just two different guns. So because of that, I have to make sure that I'm proficient with both of them. So I'll bring both of them to the range, all right? The next scenario, if I'm testing a build or I'm trying to zero an optic, for me, to be honest, when it comes to zero and optics, I, mm, I struggle with that a little bit. So it's not as much fun as it is maybe to other people who enjoy zero and optics. For me, it's more tedious. It takes time. And so because of that, I try to bring everything I need that day to get it done. So if I'm doing reviews on different products and I know that I need to um, review several different optics or I'm testing a build that just been completed, I bring all of that to the range that day and try to get it all done just because it's so tedious and I don't enjoy it. So I just want to get it done, get it finished, be done with it, move on. So yeah, I'll bring everything that I need zeroed or test it in that one trip. And usually that trip is about probably like a two hour visit to the range. Okay. Now moving on. If I'm just planking by myself or having a grand old time, making a day out of it, I'll bring about five guns to the range. Okay. It could be anywhere from a 22 to a nine millimeter to maybe a long gun and five, five, six, two, two, three, what have you. But, um, if I'm having fun, I'm not worried about you know, like grip angles and things of that nature. I'm not worried about um, bringing more than one gun because now I have to adjust my grip and such. I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about having a good time, plinking, having fun, enjoying the range trip and doing my thing. So yeah, I'll bring about five-ish uh, guns, handguns, a mixture, okay? Now, if I am going, and I haven't done this in a while, but I know some people do it. If I have a lunch break, and I just kind of want to go and get proficient, um, then I'll bring my EDC. Whatever I'm carrying that day, um, I'll do that. Now, I, again, I haven't done this in a while because I can't carry at work, but um, I have in the past where I've had a lunch break and I ran over to the range and just brought my EDC, you know, 50 or 100 rounds or what have you, boom, got it in, boom, went back to work, all right? So that'll only be one gun and that'll be my EDC. 
<clears throat> last thing. If I'm going to shoot with a group of people, let's say that we planned it like, hey, Liv, let's go to the range. Let's have a good time. Um, I see that you got this gun. I haven't shot that yet. I have this gun. I know that you haven't shot that yet. Like, let's make a day of it. Then I would um, bring, you know, it depends. I would bring maybe four or five guns and preferably something that my friends have not shot, right? Because... You don't want to go to the range and shoot the guns you already have when you are when you going with friends, right? You want to try their stuff out. They want to try your stuff out. So I'll bring about four or five guns that they haven't tried yet, and they will bring four or five guns that I haven't tried yet. Now I haven't done that probably. I haven't done that for a while, maybe within the last year or so. But last year, I know that I did that with a couple of people and we brought um, firearms that neither one of us have tried. But um, yeah, so it depends on the scenario in which I'm going to the range. If I'm going for, you know, planking reasons or um, being, you know, zero in a rifle or zero in a red dot. Um, maybe I just want to get proficient in my EDC. It all depends it could be one gun, it could be five or six guns. It just depends on the scenario. So you guys let me know how many guns you take to the range and um, which scenarios are best for you or ideal for you and put it down in the comment section. But yeah, it just depends. Most of the time, I'll say maybe within the last two years or so, year and a half, I've been testing a lot. So majority of the time when I go to the range, I'm zeroing something or I'm testing a product. Um, but yeah, that's normally, that's pretty much what I do and how many guns I bring to the range based on that scenario. So you guys let me know and, um, that's it. That's it. And that's all. So I hope you guys are doing well. Treat one another with kindness and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.